Hi, this is Jesse from Sound Devices, and today I want to show you how easy it is to import DNX HD QuickTime files created by the Pix Digital Video Recorders into Avid Media Composer 6. So here we can see files created by the Pix, just some test tones with uh, color bars. And we can see that they are QuickTime movies. Um, these are a minute long, 1.69 gigabytes each. We can even click play and audition these. And if we click get info, we can see that the codec is recognized as DNX HD. Now there's actually two ways of importing files. We can do a direct import where it'll actually rewrap the QuickTime file as MXF or we can link to AMA files. So here I already have my project open and we can start by right clicking on our bin and clicking import or we can go right up to file import and here we can see our files recorded by the PIX and we can just select our files and click open this process takes roughly the same time as a file transfer from one drive to another but the end result is MXF files and there is no transcoding involved and once the import is complete, we can see these files in our bin. We can now drag these files down to the timeline, play them back, and begin editing. There's one other way to get files into Media Composer, and that is link to AMA files. And what this does is it accesses the files remotely. It's not exactly an import. Um, we're just referencing external files. So we can just right click in our bin, click link to AMA files, or go back up to file, and click link to AMA files or volume. So let's grab the rest of our files here and click open. Now this happens in real time. We click open and it immediately shows up in our bin. We can now play these files back or drag them down into the timeline and begin editing. So let's navigate to our project folder where we told Avid to import our files. And here you can see it has taken the QuickTime files and rewrapped them as MXF files. And this does not take much longer than just a normal file copy transfer. So if you have any more questions, feel free to send your inquiries to support at sounddevices.com or visit the PICS 220 and 240 product page.